What's going on guys? This is JT here. Welcome back to Diablo Immortal. In this video, we're going to be talking about Blizzard's response to me after finally being able to get a hold of them and actually get a fix to this issue. I mean, it's been going on for about a month and a half. I've reached out in every way I possibly know. Honestly, at the end of the day, I really hope that, you know, after my video went, uh, got a lot of, it got a lot of viewership from not only websites, my video in itself got a lot of views. It drawed a lot of attention to the community outright, right? A lot of attention was drawn to the situation that came about me spending a ton of money not being in the battlegrounds. You know, I really hope that Blizzard maybe thinks about getting a better way for players to communicate about this game. Like, when you invest a ton of money into a game, even if you're not investing a ton of money, even if you're just a player that plays the game, you should have some sort of customer service out to be able to talk about something, right? Like, whenever you go to the live chat on Blizzard and talk about this game, let me tell you guys what they said to me. When I went to the live chat at first, the guy at the live chat was like, Sir, you just don't know how to queue up for a battleground. You simply don't know how to queue up. Let me explain to you how to queue up. And I'm like, sir, I've queued up 350 times and I know exactly how to queue up. And then the person still didn't understand what I was saying. He's like, no, no, you just don't understand. It's certain times that you have to queue up. And I'm like, bro, like we need, a, we need some, like the game made a hundred million dollars in two months, right? They need to have some customer service to where you can either email have some sort of chat or some sort of way to respond to players' issues because after talking to the guy on live chat, he told me to go to the forums, right? Well, my forum post has now been up for over a month and nobody has still responded to my forum post. And the issue I'm trying to say is there are multiple wells out there, not only wells, but multiple players in general that just would like to receive some sort of information about issues they're having in-game with no one to reach out to, right? There's literally nobody to talk to about any issues. And like I said, I'm in a well chat with over 20 people that have invested over $50,000 into the game each. And some of these guys have their own issues. And some of these guys are creating forum posts with literally nobody communicating with them, right? And in my opinion, that is honestly a problem. Um, there needs to be some sort of communication going on about Diablo Immortal, right? So hopefully the issue that I raised at the end of the day, hopefully they get better customer service. That would be great. If not, that sucks, but hopefully eventually they do. Now, Blizzard did reach out to me. The guy I have been talking to quite a bit. He is a very respectable guy. I'm not going to say exactly who he is because I don't really care to mention names or say exactly what he told me, but he did say, let me find out actually exactly what he said. I have the post right here. So he did say that it sounds like they approved a fix and they're going to implement it in the next upcoming days, right? And so the issue that I've had in the Battlegrounds, they got enough, you know what I mean? It got enough exposure to all you guys sharing, all the websites that made articles. Asmund Gold, my buddy uh, DM, who thank you DM for all the love and support you've shown helping me with this situation. I pray, appreciate you, bro. Um, just in general, uh, it, it got a lot of attention, right? The video got a lot of attention and now they are They have a way to fix it. They're gonna be fixing this in the next upcoming days So we will see what happens. I mean, I'm not gonna discuss this anymore I'm not gonna drag this video on all I've been told is they got an a fix that is approved Can't wait to see how the new system works. Hopefully it is more designed in a better way to where you know what I mean the high residence players Play the high residence players. It'd be sweet when you if you queued up for a battleground and you played players at your own residence, right? That'd be pretty sweet, you know. So or the closest players to your residence, you played them. So for example, if I queue up at seven thousand five hundred residents, I play only players that are seven thousand or above residents, or six thousand and above residents, something like that, right? That way, I'm able to get in queues. At least I know that as players grow in this game and as their accounts get stronger, as they spend more money, as they farm gems, they will be in the same battlegrounds in, with me in the near future. And like I said, we have a fix. The fix has been approved by who uh, NetEase, who has told Blizzard that 
they have a fix coming sooner than later. So yeah, we have a fix. If you guys want to come check out the live stream on Twitch, I would appreciate that at twitch.tv slash JT is all business. Come support your boy one time. I will be in there doing all sorts of stuff. Mainly today, I am going to be farming dungeons because honestly, if you guys aren't farming dungeons, you're not doing it right because you only have this battle pass that lasts a day and a half left. So make sure you're able to to buy a, or to get to claim all the points for your battle pass because a new battle pass isn't going to start. Then you're going to be able to get more EXP, right? And so if you guys don't know, I mean, just to give you an idea, like I am currently what level 127. After I claim this battle pass right here, I mean, I'm going to be and I don't even have it filled out. I got a thousand, which I'm almost halfway there. So let's go ahead and claim the 210 plus the 710. I'm literally going to get, I got to 128. I literally went from 127 all the way to 128, and now I'm almost 129. So anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you, Blizzard, for finally helping me. Thank you. We got the fix, boys. No need for a refund. Obviously, I'm not going to be refunding. The whole idea of making that refund video was to reach out to Blizzard in its own way, right? And it worked. And so we got a fix coming. Anyway, guys, hope y'all have a 